Pretty much any time you make a significant lifestyle change, there's going to be positive and there's going to be negative feedback. And when you're just starting out, when you're young and you decide that you want to make uh, changes in your life and you want to pursue fitness and you want to pursue nutrition and you just want to become a better person, you're going to get some negative feedback. And it can be kind of difficult at first to try to manage this because you feel inside, you feel like you're doing the right thing. So you're wondering, where is this coming from? Do I really deserve this? And sometimes it can be enough to make people stop. Um, I know when I started, um, there were people who called me anorexic. There were people who said, you know, I would never, I would never get anywhere in my uh, fitness uh, goals. And um, I just kind of tried to like force it outwards, but it it kind of took a toll, especially when people would say things like, you know, oh look at this guy, he doesn't eat broccoli, he doesn't you know, lift six days a week, and he's in better shape than you are, why, uh, why are you doing these, these things? And so when these kind of things happen, it's important to keep your goals in mind and realize that if for no other reason you're doing this to become a better person yourself because you're going to become stronger through doing these difficult choices. That's not to say um, you have to do the uh, most difficult route possible. You don't have to starve yourself to get lean. You don't have to uh, lift for five, six hours as um, some people actually think that you need to. But uh, when you receive this face-to-face -face, uh, criticism, just kind of release it. Um, just kind of understand that they haven't seen what you've seen. They don't value what you value and so just kind of forgive them just kind of say you know they don't they don't know they don't understand this yet down the road they might you know a lot of people when they're in their late 40s or 50s they realize oh shoot I should have taken better care of my body uh, because they realize then that they're starting to pay these consequences uh, for the decisions they made when they were younger and um, Another one is uh, online or virtual uh, discrimination. Um, I received a lot of criticism for my posts online and um, from various websites, and people are still criticizing me. And it's kind of funny. Um, I wasn't really ready for it at first. People can be really cruel on the internet, and um, it was it was kind of good for me to hear that negative feedback for because uh, for my immediate surroundings, I've gotten to the point where. Um, uh, pretty much everyone is positive about what I'm doing. They understand what I'm doing. Um, but that kind of comes with age uh, for how long I've been doing this and uh, for the level of success that I've achieved. Um, but when you see these things online, um, based on, uh, based on you know, um, what you've been doing so far, uh, it can be kind of hard to ignore. But uh, listen to it. Listen to the criticism. Uh, when I post it online... A lot of people hated on my traps, and uh, it allowed me to see. It took a while, um, but I, I realized like maybe there wasn't enough thickness in the rear parts, rear lower parts of my traps, and so it allowed me to really focus there and um, realize that that was definitely an area I can improve in. And um, so, when you hear criticisms, of course, dismiss the ridiculous ones, the loud ones, but. Um, if somebody's able to educate, edu uh, give you an educated uh, critique, um, make sure that you're able to uh, take the positive from that and learn and grow from it. Of course, you don't really want to critique people who aren't asking for it. Um, you just kind of want to let other people run their race and you run yours and just kind of let their, those actions speak for themselves. Um, so when you hear negative feedback, just kind of stay strong Stay focused on your goals. Stay focused on what you want to obtain, uh, the reasons why you're doing this, the, reason why, the reasons why you began, and um, kind of uh, make an analysis and say, hey, this is actually worth it. I, I'm putting in the work now. I'm making these hard decisions so that down the road, um, it, it'll be easier. It'll, I'll, I'll be able to enjoy the, the fruits of my labor. All right, so... Um, just stay consistent, stay dedicated, 
and uh, keep on growing and developing as a person.